Yeah, mate, I've had dramas at work. Oh, it's wonderful. Wonderful me. Sean, so, will you uh, bring Sam a glass? Hmm? Avec plaisir. I can't have too many because I'm working this afternoon. <laughs> Aren't we all? All right, um, I hope you don't mind. Of course not. <laughs> yeah, grab a glass. Um, do you mind if Kayla was on too? No, all the merrier. There we go. Come on now. Ooh. Raise your glasses. Uh, and let's hope he rots in jail. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Is that what I'm doing? Really? Imagine having him for a dad. Right, I'm off, love. See you later. Oh, see you later. Where are you off to? Uh, nowhere special. Have fun. Bye, love. Anyway. Yeah, no, it, it was hurting me a lot. Maria, please do not give me that. How much longer, Maria? Hello, ma'am. Why didn't you tell me you were hard up? I would have lowered my rock-bottom mates rates for you. You know I would. I don't know what I was thinking. No. You were thinking you'd save money. That's what you were thinking. Oh. Unless, of course, you are not happy with my wonderful handiwork. Oh, ma'am, of course I am. You know that. I... But you could have stopped short at pulling out the foils. Well, you should be grateful that's all I pulled out. Anyway, not to worry. Maria's going to have all the time in the world for you now. You've not... Yes, I have. And I am going to enjoy every moment waiting for her to come crawling back. Because once she realises what a very cold world it is out there, she will be back, Gail. She will. Uh, oh, what are you doing? You know you can't just let yourself in. Uh, Maria, I'm your landlady. It's my flat. Well, I don't care. I've told you. If you want to come round here, then you've got to give me notice. It's in my lease. Yeah, I'm giving you notice now. Yeah, I'm sorry it's come to this, Maria. Yes, yeah, do be quiet, girl. Please, this is just business. Um, I'll be off then. Yes, Ju I think I'll come with you. I'll see you by the car. And don't be long. My appointment's in 20 minutes, and you know what that dentist's like if you keep her waiting. Okay. So I'm not five. Are you annoyed because you had to take me to the dentist? Well, it's not how I choose to spend my 78th birthday, to be honest. Look out! Isn't that Audrey's car? Gran? We are... What on earth do you think you're doing? What do you mean? You went into the back of me. You slammed your brakes on for no good reason. Yeah, but you should keep a safe distance. I was at a safe distance. Well, it's clearly not because you drove into me. Why did you even stop anyway? There was nothing there. There was a cat. What? I never saw one. Well, luckily I did because it shot straight past me. Look, uh, maybe we should take uh, some insurance details. Um, I haven't got any. It's my auntie's car. Are you even insured to drive it? Yes. Look, I'll ring her and I'll get the details. I just... I need to go and get my neck looked at because it's really hurting. You can't leave the scene of an accident without giving you details. Craig, not now, please. I need to go and see a doctor and you need to get to your medical assessment. Craig, it's fine. You go with her and make sure she's OK. I'll just phone you later. Yeah, you give me a pen, ma'am. I'll write down the Get one from this salon. Yeah. I'll come with you. This thing help and Ruby need. Hey, well, why don't you come and live with me for a bit? I could do with the company. No, it hasn't been a very happy birthday so far. But listen, thank you so much for your help. Yeah. Bye. Mm, what did they say? Well, they can find the insurance details from the registration number and uh, any repairs, then they're happy to pay for. Oh, well, that's good news. Oh, yeah. You should be banned from driving. Uh, it's not me grand's fault. Don't you have a go at my mum? My Craigie could have been killed because of her. How is Craig? Well, he's dead shaken up, obviously. The streets aren't safe with people like you around. Kayla was only taking him to his medical, and now she's the one in hospital. Is she? Is she OK? Well, the doc sent her for x-rays, thanks to you, you dopey old biddy. Oh, shut up! Oh, my granny's not dopey. It was Kayla. She slammed her brakes on for no reason. There was a cat. Would you rather it got run over? Typical heartless plat. Well, what? nobody else saw this flaming cat, actually. Please stop arguing, you upsetting customers. Well, she's not going to make it up, is she? Why would she do that? We had a nice time. Um, yeah, we got loads done. Max is a great student. You're a great teacher. Oh, you made some muffins as well, didn't you? 
Thanks for looking after her. Thank you for looking after David. I told him everything. Right. We didn't give me much choice, did you? Well, I'm glad he was looking out for you. I mean, what were you thinking? All right, it was daft, OK? You were being a vigilante, and it's a bit more than daft. Well, Mum, I wasn't going to attack him. Mm, are you sure? Yes. Right, stupid thing to do. I'm sorry for stressing you all out. Right, come on, missus. Let's get you home. Try these cakes. See ya. Yeah, see ya. See ya. Right, you've got to let this go, OK? You've done what you can. You can't watch Josh every second of the day. Yeah, and you can't watch me. Can't keep you away, can we? Is everything all right? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I've, I've just had the police round. No, oh, what have you done now? Nothing. Um, Josh has been attacked. Good. By you? It, the, the bloke he was with. What happened? Well, after David left, I, I saw him. Uh, he, he came out for a smoke, and I just... I, I warned him, you know, about Josh. Um, and apparently, he went back in and challenged him, found some GHB on him, and he's, he's beaten him half to death. Seriously? I can't help but feel responsible. You did the right thing. Yeah, too right you did. Well, I, I don't think you did. I mean, you've just done exactly what you told me not to do. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. He's just stopped someone else going through. What happened to you? Where are you going? Ow. And don't follow me this time, hypocrite. So any word? You won't push her. I know it. Well, shall we say 12.30? No, I shall have to check the appointments book first. Yes, I need to check the meeting's diary. I thought you were doing my paperwork. Yeah, I need to eat first. <laughs> Well, I'll get my people to call your people who can call her people and uh, find a window we can all open, OK? Look sharp, Sarah. Boss lady approaching. Come on, Make that quick. No phones on the shop. Scabby donkey. Oh. Uh, Sarah texted. She, uh, she said... Oh, thanks, love. She said she is joining us, but she doesn't want to take a break before Carla does because she's trying to be indispensable. I said she deserves a break. I'll tell you why don't we do this another time, when Sarah's really free? No, no, Sarah is free. Well, to be she honest, just... I'm really rather rushed today, and all this dashing about, it gives me indigestion. So we'll each pick a day we're free, and then we'll get together. Give Sarah my... Mum! Mum! Oh, charming. Here you go, stick them wiggly legs in there. Oh, no, I'll let Ollie have it. <laughs> Where is he? that with this thumbprint recognition thingy that someone might cut off your thumbs to get into your banking No! <laughs> Sorry, babe, I thought you were coming to the yard. Oh, right. Mm. Would you like the good news or more good news? Ooh, the good news, go on. Carla's keeping me on with a pay rise. Right. It just means that I'm really going to have to focus, you know, while she's settling in. I don't want her thinking that I'm juggling two jobs. Right, so what about helping out of the yard? Well, that's the more good news. So, I didn't want to leave you stranded. Mm. I've organised you a replacement, somebody friendly, highly motivated, great at hot drinks. Oh, yeah, what, from an agency? Um, much closer to home. Ta-da! Gail? Yeah, well, obviously, I'm not as cheap as her, but I'm quick. And I can start this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I need to go and just uh, tidy the office just a little bit. Not on my account. Cleaning's my speciality. There's not a nook nor a cranny where I wouldn't put a wet wipe in, given the chance. Sarah, can you, can you just tell me where I've gone wrong here? Yeah. I think it's put me into someone else's account. No, we can't do that. Well, it's either that or someone's randomly put £40,000 into mine. 40000 Oh, hang on, right. You can see who's put it in. <gasps> Mum! What? <gasps> Louis Archer! What did Gran say? Went straight to voicemail. I wish I knew what Louis was up to. We'll just be thankful his money going into the account this time. Right, I better go. I mean, obviously, I'll look... I must have switched it off by accident. Why? Something wrong? Well, it's the strangest thing. In fact, strange doesn't even begin to cover it. Earlier today, I discovered that Lewis 
had put £40,000 into my account and I've been sat here ever since racking my brain to think what the hell he can be up to. Oh, well, that might be a sign of a guilty conscience. No, he doesn't have one. There must be something in it for him. Like what? I don't know. But we are talking about the man who thought nothing of torturing me with the past. Well, Gail, £40,000 is a lot of money. And, you know, sometimes people do change. Oh, come nice on. Nice to her off. Nice jacket, Gail. Oh, had it ages. Really? Couldn't tell. Mm, it's a power suit for a new job, Gary. Oh, I'll <laughs> <keep it> over <laughs> you. <laughs> We don't need old biddies who are so... Well, are you sure? I mean, we're going to be putting a lot of trade your way. OK, OK. Oh. I'll talk to Gary about it. Yes, yes, I'll get back to you. Thank you. Bye. Oh. You're working? Uh, well, uh, Gary needs some more raw plugs, so I've got a little bit of a bidding war going on between trade in stock and mend your way. Oh, I see. And David rang. Oh. They've had a lovely time, and uh, I just hope he's recharged his batteries. Oh, my goodness. Well, he's back, and I'm going. Going where? Well, that's what I've come to tell you. Uh, I've won a cruise around the Norwegian fields, and I sail from Hull tomorrow. Won? Yeah. I mean, it was only the fifth prize, but it's worth £2,000. So I've decided, come on, there's life in the old dog yet. A cruise? Mm, yes. You get seasick. Oh, well, I'm going to have to cope with that. Well, it'll get very cold up there and you get chilly. Well, I'll take a lot of sweaters, don't worry. I wonder if I should try and book on it with you. No, actually, I've thought of that and they're full up. I wonder if Gary can spare me. Oh, Gail, don't be silly. You've only just started working for uh, him. Uh, uh, oh. Hello, Gary. Yes, hello. Um, uh, trading stock rang, and they will come down 2% if we buy 10,000. I'll leave you to him. Oh, oh, OK. Well, how about uh, 1% for 5,000? And when that farm turned up, you did Here they are. Ah. Oh, how was it, kids? Amazing. Good. I was sick on the plane. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Was <laughs> it a bumpy flight? <laughs> Too many chocolates, Mom. Oh, did you have a good time? I did, yeah. I missed you, though. Oh, we spoke every day. Yeah, what the talking I was on about. All right, OK. Well, we're going to have to have a proper catch-up later, then, because now I'm late for work. Mm. Mm. Well, don't get your hopes up, because I can barely keep my eyes open. Mm, great. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. And do you feel more relaxed? Well, I did, yeah. But then found out that Gran's going to be clearing off for God knows how long. Yeah? Isn't that lucky, winning a cruise? No, it's not lucky for me, is it? I'm going to be covering all her work while she's gone. Yes, like she covered for you while you were in Barbados with Becky. Yeah. Well, I needed it, though, didn't I? I am worried about her, though. What with her injury and uh, all this trouble with Maria. I mean, she has been a bit odd lately. Well, yeah, she's always been odd. It's where you get it from. I know you do, darling, but I just feel guilty leaving you in the lurch, you know, with the jostles. Oh, I'll be fine, Gran. Anyhow, aren't you gonna get off? Gonna be late for your love boat. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, God, it's just a cruise. Come on, it's nothing like that. Mm, yeah, I've seen you, pensioners, after a couple of sherries. You have your eye on one of the purses, <laughs> won't you? David. Oh, you right? Hi, man. Yeah, just a minute. Have I caught you before? Yeah, okay. Oh, right. Uh, Audrey Roberts, hello. Oh, Lou. <coughs> sorry, sorry, Lucian. A little bit of a tickle. <laughs> yes, yes, the arrangements are fine. Still the same. Okay, well, um, I'll pick you up at 11.30. All right, my love. Bye bye. bye. Who's Lucian? Uh, he's the uh, limo driver that's taken me to the ship. Why are you picking him up? Well, I'm not. Why did you say that? Well, you've just said. Oh, God, that was just a slip of the tongue. Of course I'm not picking him up. He's the driver, the taxi driver. Or limo driver. Oh, for heaven's sake, stop bothering me with questions. Questions, questions, questions. Now, I'm going to go home and finish packing. Otherwise, I'm going to miss my cruise, right? Oh, dear. Sorry, come on. Yeah. Valley of the Star. Gail, it's absolutely wonderful. It's like a palace on water, you know, and there's crystal chandeliers. Oh, 
<laughs> and I was piped on board. Oh, sounds lovely. What sort of band is it? Um, oh, you know, um... Audrey, I can't seem to work the oven. Who was that? Um, ah, that was the captain. What's he doing messing with the oven? Shouldn't he be driving the ship? Uh, no, no, because we're in the, the captain's quarters and it's the captain's oven and um, there's a party for VIP guests. Oh. Get you, being a VIP. Is there anybody famous on board? Um, Abba. The pop group? No, the Swedish wrestlers, Gail. Of course it's Abba. Oh, I'll be sure to get me some pictures. Ah, well, I don't think I can, love, because um, they seem to be very, very private and their minders keep kind of snatching everybody's camera. It's a shame. I love Abba. Yes, I do too. Look, love, I've got a dash, though. Mum, Mum, will you be all right on your own? Uh, well, I'm not on my own, am I, Gail? To be honest... I think the captain's actually taking a bit of shine to me. You be careful, Mum. I don't want that captain taking advantage of you. Oh, don't worry, my love. Don't worry. There's no chance of that. Bye. Ah. Come on. Show me how to work the oven. Big new oh. sign ordered, neon light, the works. Yes, Mum, I'll sort it. Yeah, I know it's a lot of money. Just, I'll, I'll get in touch with the cruise line and see if they won't pay up. Okay, text me the number. Okay, bye bye. There you go. Four eyes. Thanks. <laughs> See you tomorrow for the grand relaunch. See you. Hi, Hi Gary. Oh, panic over. I didn't realise there was a panic on. Oh, well, I was just worried about my mum going on this cruise on her own. But she's there now, all safely on board, thank goodness. Seems like everyone's mum's going on a cruise these days. Why, who else is? Oh, m my mum and dad had booked themselves into one, but now dad's gone. She wants to cancel. Well, it might have done her good to get away. Yeah, Audrey's gone on her own. Yeah, she's having a whale of a time on board the Valley of the Stars. She's met Abba. And she's having a private cocktail party with the captain, and they haven't even set sail. And I don't think they will, not on the Valley of the Stars. Why'd you say that? Well, I know that shit. I nearly booked it for my own woman, Dad. But they scrapped it about three months ago. Well, anyway, he went out with his system. He's not my type, anyway. Yeah, well, you probably is. I mean, you're female and you've got a pulse. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not looking for a relationship anyway. I'm happy to be young, free and single. Well, free and single. Are you? Less than that, otherwise there'd be no dip. <laughs> David, I need your help. Uh, something's happened to your gran. What now? Well, I don't know, but you know that ship she was supposed to be on? It was scrapped three months ago. Well, she probably just got the name of the boat wrong. No, I spoke to her. She was with the captain drinking champagne on the Valley of the Stars, a ship that doesn't exist. Well, I'm sure there's a logical explanation, Gail. Yeah, I know. That's what worries me. I think your gran's losing her marbles. Well, maybe she's just forgotten what a phone is. It's not funny, David. I don't think I could cope with all this again. What do you mean, again? Well, years ago we thought she had dementia, but it was just Richard gaslighting her. I wonder where she is. Like she was fine yesterday, Mum. She's probably just, I don't know, forgotten what the, you know, the boat ship thing's called. Cruise liner. You really are jet-lagged, aren't you? And I think it's more serious than that. Well, that's just because you're a massive drama queen. Your gran thinks she's sailing the high seas as we speak. And when I spoke to her, she was having drinks with the captain. On the Valley of the Stars. See? Yes. I'm not that jet lagged, On I? the Valley of the Stars. But Imran says he knows for a fact there's no such boat. He reckons it's been scrapped. Scrapped! Cruise liner. And if it has, then where the hell is she? Hello? <sighs> is everything all right? Well, I'm, I'm sorry to butt in. You butt away. You've been on cruises, haven't you, Rita? Oh, love. There's nothing I enjoy more than waking up every morning in a new city. The last one I went on, the captain gave me a private tour of the poop deck. <laughs> and you know me mum's meant to be on one now. I know. Lucky thing. Is there any chance she could have moved ships? You know, to, to another one. How do you mean, love? I don't know. It's just that... Well, if there were too many people on one boat, could they move them on to another? Or if it had broken down? 
I don't know. Well, it's usually pretty straightforward, love. You know, everything's signed off in advance. There's something just not quite adding up about all this. Oh. I mean, could two ships have the same name, for example? I think they can bomb people onto another ship. Yes, yes, they can. It's happened to me lots now I think about it. Oh. And I know for a fact that there are loads of ships with the same name. Well, I, I think I'll just nip round to Grasmere Drive, see if my mum's had to come back for anything. Yeah, thanks for your help, ladies. I'll see you. Yeah. Bye. Bye, love. Who are you texting? Yeah. Ah! What is it? Oh, I'm dreading the next few. How dare you, Lewis? How dare you wash your way back in here and inveigle your way back into me mum's life? How dare you? A thousand apologies won't oh, be enough, shut I your know. Face. But... I'm not interested. I'm sure I brought you up to have better manners than that. Brought me up? Five bob behind the clock on the mantel before you went out gallivanting. Don't flatter yourself. Lewis, would you go to my room, please? He'll be rifling through your knickknacks. I'll deal with it. He'll be selling your best jewellery on the internet. I mean, if it's not glued down, he'll have it. Good luck. All right, Mama. Mm. Think as thieves. Do you know, I'm not going to stand for this scale. What do you expect, ma'am? A running finger buffy in a brass band? You lied to me. I just wanted some time alone to make up my mind. What about? About what to do with Lewis. Oh, I'll tell you what to do with Lewis. Oh, here we go. Push him off a cliff. He's a fraud and a con man who's deceived us time and time again and shows no sign of abating. He gave himself into the police and he paid you back that money. This after he sent some fruit loop medium round to mess with me head. What if it's my last chance for a bit of happiness, girl? What about that? He'll break your heart, ma'am. I'm willing to take that risk, girl. Life's all about risks. It's about decency and honesty and being able to look your own family in the face. Oh, it'll be me or him next, cheers. No more questions, Your Honour. Gail. Gail! Meaning? Oh, for a clever bloke, you can be so thick sometimes. Ah. I take it you've seen sense? Gail, I... Oh, please, ma'am, if your next line is going to be please understand, you can forget it. What I'm saying is, Gail, you are only 60 years old. I'm 78. This could be the last chance I find to get a bit of happiness. Well, aren't you happy now? Honestly? No, not really got a successful business and you've got a big family around you and I could move in with you if you like then you'd never be lonely for a minute oh uh, yeah well that is a lovely idea right. but I would like it to be with a man you surely will understand that more than most well most of my relationships have ended in disaster yes well I am not you really I think we're pretty similar. Like mother, like daughter. Is this really about me? What's that supposed to mean? I know how you felt about Louis. Oh, for sake, ma'am. I'm not jealous. Oh. No, I'm worried he's gonna hurt you. Louis is not good for you. Oh, for goodness sake, what is good for me? I mean, deny myself a bit of happiness with a man who I believe truly, truly loves me. Pushing him away, for what? For a few minutes feeling virtuous and strong, which will fade into oblivion every time I sit sipping me G&T in front of the telly all alone. You're not all alone. You've got me, David, Sarah, the kids. No, that's not the same and you know it. You hate Louis Gale and I don't blame you. But you know, I love him. I can't forgive him for what he's done to us. So you're never ever going to accept him, right? I'm not. It's either me and 
By me, I mean your family, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, or it's him. Well, I am sorry. But it's him. That man's hypnotised her. He's like Darren, what's his name? Steady on, Mum. Oh! Oh! And now he's made me kill a geranium, cos that's the kind of man he is. The man your gran wants to give her life to. And probably your inheritance. Well, it's her choice at the end of the day. We can't let it happen, David. What are you going to do? Tie her up. Kidnap her. Gail. The emergency. We've been robbed. Just sit down, Gran. Oh, what are you doing, David? Oof. Oh, stopping you. Ruining your life. Oh, for heaven's sake, Gail. David, open the door, please. This is what's called an intervention. Oh, my goodness. Hey, because I want to get over to the Rovers to see how Jenny's ruined it. As long as it takes her to admit that seeing Lewis again is a terrible mistake. Oh, Gail. Um, if you're lucky, if you're very lucky, he'll let you down and leave you for someone younger. Oh, charming. That's the best-case scenario. The worst is that he'll leave you for someone even more gullible, having taken everything you own. Well, I don't own anything. Well, that's not strictly true, is it, Gran? You own Grassmere Drive. I mean, if you release the equity in that, it could get a fair bit. Exactly. I thought you were on my side. I'm not on anybody's side, all right? I just want to get this over with as quick as possible. Oh, OK. Why did he give you the 40 grand back then? Huh? Here we go. The 40 grand. It's textbook con work. He's in it for the long haul. Textbook con work? What are you talking about? And why suddenly are you the expert? Because I'm a victim. Oh, oh good. Oh, flipping. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't know whether to say. Oh, how long have you been in there? Oh, so I left my purse in the stock room and I came back to pick it up and then I was sort of trapped. I didn't know whether to interrupt your family. Intervention. No, don't worry. We have these all the time. It's how Gail deals with things. She locks people in salons, pub cellars. Ignore him. I'll uh, leave you to it then. Oh, yes, I'll come with you. You're going oh. nowhere. Hey, oh, sit down. She's over. The bottom line is, he's probably up to something. I mean, we don't know for sure if he is, but he probably is. All right? So, you know, why, why do you want to take the risk at your... Your what? Your age? Is that what you're going to say? Well, yeah, all right, I was, at your age. I mean, you're happy enough without him, so why do you want the hassle? But I've already told her, I'm not. OK, I'm not particularly happy. Oh, great. More emotional blackmail. Oh, hello. Yet again, my daughter knows more about me than I do. I never said that. No, but it's true, isn't it? You have always resented me having a life apart from being a mother. I just don't want to see you hurt. Oh, okay. well, let me be happy. I make my own decisions, my own mistakes. Oh, this is definitely a mistake. Yes, I know, I know that, and I understand where you're coming from. And I know, my love, that you will never, ever forgive Lewis. And I promise you, I will never, ever bring him round to yours for dinner, right? Good. Yes. All I ask is that you let me decide who are my friends when I'm not with you. And then don't lock me up if you don't like the people I've chosen. I think that seems fair. Yes, and it'll be good for you, because the more I'm with Lewis, then the less I'll be here. And I'll be in charge. You hear that, Gail? Oh, flipping heck. I mean, Grant, you're not going to get her to back down. The sulky silent treatment is the best you're going to get, so go on, go. On second thoughts, how about we move on? I have a feeling the atmosphere here is going to turn just a little sour. So this is it. Your choice. You choose a con man over your own daughter. Gail? Shut it, you. Very oh. well. Gail, look, I haven't chosen anything. In fact, I really do want the both of you in my life. It's you that's doing the choosing. Hmm? Come on. Oh, yeah, it's off your great grand. Oh, I'll make the most of it then. Because by the time Lewis has finished with us, you won't have any money to spend on anybody. Well, talking of money, can I borrow some? Eh? Why? 
Oh, his uh, account got hacked. He's had to cancel his cards. No. Yeah, and I can't afford that annihilator thing without him, so. It's OK. We don't have to go. <laughs> don't be daft. It's your birthday. Uh, I'll lend you mine. Is it terrible, though? What some people do. Mm. Hey, carry on opening your present. <sighs> it was me. What? I used your card to buy some players for my team. I'm sorry. What are you about? Me, Addy and Liam are in this online football league. And Addy was boasting about all the top players he bought. I wanted to beat him. Oh, right, you did, did you? Right, well, that's you not going on that app anymore, and I'm stopping all your spends until you pay me back, do you understand? Where did Addy get that kind of money from anyway? Oh, uh, you just got the idea from him, did you? Right, well, wait till I see Dev. I mean, it's just... Between you and him. Oh, that'll be Bethany. Well, I'll, I'll get it. Do you know, that smells lovely. Are you sure I can't give you a hand? 100%. I just want you to relax. Oh, are you sweet? Hi. Good evening. And goodbye. Oh, here we go. How dare you just show up like this? I invited them, Gail. You? Well, she means us. We did it for Max and Lily's sake. Did it to torment me more like. No, look, the kids haven't the foggiest what happened with you and Lewis. All they know is that Audrey's the great grandmother and they miss her big time. Yeah, you're always saying how family's really important. Look, could we not just call a truce, OK? Over my dead body. Either they leave or I do. Cue the ultimatums. Maybe that would be for the best. No, Lewis, just stay here. Gail, please, this nonsense has got to stop here and now. Look, it's only tea. No strings attached. Seriously, you don't even have to talk to them if you don't want to. There's no reason to let it ruin your evening. That ship has well and truly sailed, I'm afraid. Enjoy your meal. And I'd count the cutlery after if I were you. There was a lot of rain in April, wasn't there? Uh, what do you think you're doing? Doing my geography. Don't have time to do it last night. You having a laugh? You ain't got time to be messing about with your homework when you should be on that tablet. Yeah, well, will you listen to yourself? Don't you think this has got out of hand? Mum, we've nearly won the title. Well, Max has. We can't afford to slip up now. Oh, yeah. And that's what he's supposed to tell his geography teacher, is it? <sighs> what is it you got to do? I need to colour in my rainfall graph. Rainfall graph? Give it here. I'll do that. You go get on that tablet. I want those dead ball routines absolutely nailed, all right? Addy conceded a free kick against Liam the other day. Liam! This is insane. Mum, I've shelled out way too much money as it is to lose now. Eden Hazard, it cost me £9.35 on his own, all right? I'm not having Dev, um, Addy, lift the trophy in my own front room. What, they're coming here? Well, yeah, because it's the decider. So we thought it'd be good, you know, to put them head to head against each other. So a few of them coming round. How many? Well, there's Dev, obviously. Uh, Asher, Addy. Um, Tim's popping in, Gary. And then Lewis and me grand. What? Well, Mum, I don't want the away fans out singing us lot, do I? I will not be in the same room as that man. Will you stay in your bedroom, then? Have you forgotten what he said about you on that DVD? Oh, well, Mum, that was ages ago. And to be fair to him, I did look like a weasel. And he's apologised since then. I thought, after the way you treated him the other night, it's the least we could do. Now, if you don't mind, I've got my rainfall graph to fill in. The woman's name. So whatever I find. Right, come on, let's get it over with. Blowed if I'm plumping cushions and making canapes for that one. <laughs> Are you going? Yeah, but I'm just dropping Liam off. I'm not going to stay. Mm. You can't face me, Mum, either. Mm. Just be better if I don't see her. Yeah, you do right. Your name will be mud just the same as mine. No, I don't think my name will even crop up, Gail. Can you believe it? David and his gran are always chuntering on about you. Really? Yeah. They'll be sticking the knife in now while Max is winning David his precious title. Why? What kind of stuff do they say? Backstabbing Cal, Judas, ungrateful mare, selfish little tart, all right, all money right. grabbing. Thanks, Gail. That's enough. And David says this as well as Audrey, does he? Yeah. Well, you know, David, he bears a grudge like a drowning man hanging onto a life belt. Does he now? Right, well, two can play at that game. Where you going? I'm going to have to do a bit of wheeling and dealing. You try. Petition. Look, I want Nick to stay. I think Mum would want him here and all. 
Oh, I wish I could, but health and safety and all that. Plus, Roy would have kittens. Yeah, look, thanks anyway. No, well, I'll look after him for a few hours. Um, that's really kind, but I don't know if... Uh, no, it's all right. I know Leanne and me are a bit love-hate, but uh, when the chips are down... Gail, thank you. You're a lifesaver. You can play with Harry. Don't give it another thought. <laughs> Hello, little man. <laughs> Nick must be exhausted. He insisted on sitting with her all night. Why, Nick? Yeah, um, the police called him. Well, that's news to me. Yeah, to all of us. Sorry, I just assumed that you knew. Um, I'll see if Sarah can mind Oliver. Come on, David. What? Your brother's back. Let's go. All right, well, I'll nip to Fresh Go, shall I? See if they've got a fatty calf. Never mind your coffee. Mum, I know you're going to do your little pouty face, but there's no way I'm schlepping to go see Golden Boy. I mean, where's he been for the past year while we've been going through seven kinds of hell? He couldn't give a flying one. Sorry, I didn't ring. Yeah, right. and so you should be. A text, anything. Can you keep it down? I'm sorry. How is she? Um, they're going to take her off the ventilator this afternoon. OK, I'm going to go and find a doctor. If you two must kill each other, can you do it quietly? I'm sorry about this. But is this what it takes to bring you back to Weatherfield? But I lost my plane. I've lost count of the voicemails I've left. Oh, God. There you haven't. You log everything. You always have. Three a week. What can I say? Why don't you let Toya take over now? Come home with me. To your family. No, I, I, I want to be here when she comes to. I wish you felt the same loyalty towards your brother and sister. Right. Look, number eight will be my first port of call, okay? Misery top trumps. <laughs> I'm sorry I had a go at you earlier. I'm glad you're back. I missed you. Yeah, me too. I'll put the kettle on. <laughs> I'll give Beth and Sarah a ring. Is it all right if I stop tonight? I think I should hang around here with Leanne being in hospital. We uh, need to have a proper talk. She deserves that this time. Of course. David in. Uh, I'm not sure where he is. Does he know I'm back? Ah, hey. <laughs> It's like that. I've got a lot of making up to do, haven't I? Thanks. No one makes scones like you. <laughs> I'll bet you're batch to take home. Thank you. Oh, here we go now. Paul, Paul. Oh, there's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he won't even sit for any of us. Well, apart from David, of course. Mm, it's tricky as his owner. Toy told me he'd been in prison for beating up Gary Windows. Yes, sir. Uh... He's been going through some stuff. That's extreme, even for David. Oh, speak of the devil. Traitor. Hey, Nick. How have you been after all this time? Uh, Shona's taking the kids to the cinema. What are you doing here? Nice. Missed you too. I've said Nick can stop over. Oh, no, no, sorry. I oh, really need to get there. You could be more welcoming. He doesn't know what's been going on while he's been away. And whose fault's that? You could tell him. You having a laugh? He'd be supportive. I know he would. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he would. He's sent Nick, after all. But the fact is, Mum, I've not heard from him for a year. He's done his best, I'm sure. Well, he's lost the right to know anything about me, so I can stick his support. David. No, I mean it, Gail, all right? I want him out of here first thing tomorrow. Going out. Uh, well, I own a restaurant in Nottingham with a maid. Is there anyone special? 
Only you, Mum? <laughs> well, if I was special, I think you might have rung me once oh, in a while. Leave it. You're just as bad as David. Right, Mum, I I'm not seeing anyone, all right? Well, after the last two disasters, I think it's better if it stays that way. <laughs> Sit the boot in my day. Well, I did warn you with Leanne and with Carla. They were both terrible choices. All right, well, maybe I'll keep the next one quiet. You'll do no such thing. I've had enough of secrets with your brother. Can't believe you went to prison. Well, I did warn you with Leanne and with Carla. They were both terrible choices. All right, well, maybe I'll keep the next one quiet. You'll do no such thing. I've had enough of secrets with your brother. Can't believe you went to prison. Why didn't you tell me? Because he didn't want us to. Martin going back to New Zealand and showing her moving in. No wonder he's messed yeah, up. Yeah, that's not the worst of it. Really? How's oh, this going on? It's <sighs> you, just leaving like you did. You weren't there for him. Do you know, you've hurt a lot of people leaving like that. A lot of drug dealers, car chases, people in comas. It's like the wire around here. Well, thank goodness everybody's OK. Touch wood. What are you doing that spare bedding? Making a bed up, just in case. Oh, he's not coming back. Well, he phoned to tell me he was, so that's good enough for me. If he drowns six orphans, Mum, that'll be good enough for you. It works both ways, you know. When did you last call him? Uh, voicemail, voicemail, voicemail. You should have told him what happened. Yeah. Hi, Nick. I got raped. Speak soon. I don't know how you can be so angry at him at something he didn't even know about. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. How much shall I leave as a tip? Well, don't worry about that. Let's just get out of here before they rank the cringe factor up to 300. Still no word from the Messiah. Maybe you were right. You know, I should be winning this thing for letting you live in my house. Yeah. And I should be winning it for putting up with you for... How old are you? Exactly, my mum. Exactly. Bye, guys. Is everything all right? It was very nice. Thank you. She doesn't know it's today, right? My house. Oh, wow. Your house. I live here. Yeah. I can see you got your feet right under the table. We were planning on staying the night. Oh, didn't realise I needed permission. You need my blessing. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing you don't want to give it. Have you any idea how much you've upset him? Who? Hey? You really have no idea, do you? Is that you, Nick? I just put the towel on you. <laughs> oh. Is everything all right? Oh, not really. Leanne's just told me my services are no longer required. Honestly, that woman. <gasps> Mum. She'll be throwing dirt on your grave before you get a sniff. It's a bit harsh. Well, is that her now? Maybe she can't reach her grapes. I always think of those apocryphal words spoken by Dom Perignon to his fellow monks. Come quickly, brothers, for I'm tasting the stars. Thought monks couldn't speak. Oh, no, no, not all monks take a vow of silence. So it must be wonderfully liberating not to have to listen to some people. Do you know what? I think there's a 2006 Dom Perignon lurking somewhere in the cellar. Why did no one want it? Uh, the 2006 Dom Perignon is thought to be the finest vintage for 40 years. Well, I hope we're not splitting the bill. Oh, no, don't worry, I got it. So, is it tr true that Ken's story was based on you? Oh, partly, yes. But uh, he wants his dramatic license revoking the liberties it took. So it's all true about the back of the butcher's van? It was an Austin princess. Would you just shut up about it, please? I want to enjoy the evening. Uh, champagne? Oh, it's not a question. Easy! He's just spilled about a tenner there. Yeah, yeah, Dave is right. It'd be a crime to waste such a superb champagne. Well, you're the expert. Well, I like to think I have a serviceable knowledge of the grape. The expert on crime. Mind you, she's lucky she didn't get arrested grappling with a pork butcher in a lay-by. Kale! What's this? It's all there in Ken's story. How your gran nipped out to the butchers for a bit of tongue. No, I really don't think this is an appropriate conversation. Mind you, I should think you've been paid in kind many a time. I mean, a pair of cufflinks here, a cravat there. Never a pound of mince, I bet. Like you've led such a spotless life. Well, I've never ended up in the back of a butcher's princess. Is that why you're so keen on Fred? 
A straw hat and the smell of black pudding bring back happy memories. Right, enough. Come on. Enough. Good news, guys. I've just been on the phone to my partner in Nottingham and uh, I don't need to rush back, so stay as long as I like. Well, I'm pleased for you, bro. Yeah, me too. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. What's going on? What's all this in? Piers, we have a gate crash on. Be nice. Mum couldn't wait to congratulate you. Well, can you blame me? I mean, not only is my son home, but he's back where he always belonged. Champagne. No. No, never mind. More for us. You're going to feel pretty stupid if Peter changes his mind. That money went through a couple of hours ago, so I'm afraid you're lumbered with me. More like blessed. I mean, Dick's the best thing that's happened to this place in years. <laughs> Sorry, she's out of you. Don't apologise for me. Here's to the future. I'll oh, drink to that. You'll both be smiling on the other side of your faces once I spoke to my sister. Well, uh, if you're going to waste your time and money, be my guest. Give up. Embrace the future. Give up, Gail. I haven't even started yet. Someone see you, Mr. Tilsley. Thanks, Izzy. Ah, oh. nice surprise. Tell us a wonderful news. Don't bother. I already know. Do you want a glass of bubbly? No, not for me. So, what do you think? What do I think? Are you serious? I thought you'd be pleased. Pleased? You thought I'd be pleased? You've just gone into partnership with your ex-wife? Okay, but why don't we talk about this in private? You know, to think I stuck my neck out for you and all. Must need me head testing. Sorry, I'm a bit confused. What have I done wrong? Well, if you really have to ask that, there's nothing else to talk about. I'm just saying we're gonna have to set some ground rules. I hope we? she's not trying to bully him. Well, Nick's a big boy, Mum. I'm sure he can take care of himself. Well, I agree. That lad is far tougher than you ever give him credit for. She's pulled the wool over his eyes before. You know, that Carla is not as bad as you make out. I'll pretend you never said that. Well, you've not even told me why you're a new employee. I'm not your sister. Fair enough. Good, because Carla's been great to me. You make it sound like she's doing you a favour. That place would be lost without you. Well, I'm not taking sides either. At work, I am Switzerland. <sighs> Works for me. If I were you, I'd have given her the bullet straight away. Oh, Davey, behave. No, what you need is an iron fist in a velvet glove when you're working with Famla. At Earth to Nick. It's meant to be a celebration, this. He's worried about Leanne. Oh, Mum, give it a rest. Madam didn't take the news particularly well. We got our wires crossed. I thought she'd be over the moon. Exactly. Oh, everything's fine. Can we just talk about something else? To Lewis. Well, that's the worst thing of the going away. It's all the arm when you get married. Yeah. Well, I love Milan. Really? Yeah. Duomo La Scala. Did you see Leonardo's Last Supper? Can't say as I did, no. Oh, too busy. Looking at those fabulous shops, I expect. Yes, Philistine that I am. Uh, Mum, did you know that they have the internet now in Italy? And mobile phones? So, um, an email would have been nice, letting me know my son's got a secret wife he's divorcing. Yes. Well, we didn't want to spoil your holiday. Oh. Oh, sorry. Um, you two catch up. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Yep. You know, it wouldn't hurt to make more of an effort, Gail. Well, what's so important that they have to phone on Boxing Day? Well, I don't know. It's not my business. Anyway, it's David I've come to see. Is he around? No, they're all out, walking off the Christmas dinners. Right. Well, uh, tell him I want a word, will you? About, uh... Anything in particular? No. Very particular, as it happens. Oh, from what I gave you yesterday, I've got another present for you. You all right? What is it? Family trip to Blackpool Tower? I have been thinking a lot about dear Archie since he passed on. 
Uh, do you know, he worked all the hours God sent and he never got time to enjoy his retirement. So that is certainly not going to happen to me, right? Right. So in the next few weeks, I'm not going to be coming into the salon so much. So effectively, Maria will be running it. Okay. Then sometime over the next 12 months, you can take my share. So that will mean it's you and her. So how does that sound? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, great. Thanks. Well, I know the plan didn't work last time. No, no, no. Brilliant. Thanks, Graham. So, uh, you can get on with your career while uh, Lewis and I enjoy our twilight years together. Not together at the moment, I see. No, because he had a business appointment, that's why. On a bank holiday. Oh, for goodness sake, yeah. Could you not just be happy for me, just for once? We always wait till after. There's still no sign of Lewis. Archie's money is still in your bank account. Look, can we just change the record for five minutes? OK. Mm hmm There he is. Oh, yes. With a bag with swag written on it. Mm. I saw that took so long. Oh, so what did you sort out? Well, a friend of mine, he got kicked out by his wife last night. Oh, no. He got never to stay, so I'm trying to sort something out. Anyway, enough about him. Uh, same again. Same again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, two large G&Ts, please, and... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having a bit of trouble. Look, I'm new, you see. Oh, well, let me see. If, I... if you know what to do. Let me see. Voila. Oh, thank you. you know, my time working behind this bar hasn't been wasted after all. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm PC Burke from Weatherfield Police. This is PC Ashby. Is it all right for your word? Yeah, yeah. Well, the problem is, darling, I'm starting to look suspicious. OK. We'll, we'll talk tomorrow, then. Bye. So you can confirm... It's a lovely little independent picture house nearby. And they're showing a season of Michael Caine films. Oh, but you know, he always makes me go weaker than he's Michael Caine. Well, you fancy Michael Caine? Oh. Mm. What film was it? Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Oh, ha, ha. The Italian job, if it's your business at all. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Oh, Lewis, <laughs> come on. Let's leave Madam to her bitterness, shall we? You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Oh, Lewis. <laughs> Come on, let's leave Madam to her bitterness, shall we? Ma'am, I was joking. Oh, seen that book before. You're giving it me enough times. That man is a snake. Gil, you do have a tendency to be a little bit overprotective with your family. Heard him on the phone yesterday. What, you here, Wigan, never? He said, darling, I am starting to look suspicious. I need to tell me, ma'am, but... But she's blinded by love. Mm, we've all been there. He is so slippery. Laying on the charm with everyone. Oh. Play him his own game. Charm him right back, Gail. Get the proof you need. I would. You. Oh. Oh, away, P love. Is her out cuter? <laughs> oh, hello. Come to have another dig, have you? I'm sorry about this morning. It was a bad joke. So, you don't believe I'm a dirty, rotten scoundrel, then? Well, as you know, I've never been your greatest fan. Here we go again. But I can see that you make me ma'am happy. And that's all that matters. I really am sorry. Oh, good. Come to your senses at last. No, 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 darling. She's apologised, so let's move forward, huh? I really appreciate that, Gail. Maybe a leopard can change its spots, eh? Hmm. You know, I think this calls for a midday bottle of fizz, don't you? Oh, yes, you do spoil us. Come on. <laughs> well, let me take your coat and I'll find us a seat. Mm. Oh, that's perfect, thank you. Where is it? It's the oh, it's Is it chilled? Yeah, it's chilled. That's how I feel. Let's Come on. Let's drink it. That's Never mind. perfect. Can you manage? Where's yeah. everybody else? What do you remember? D-Day. Dominican Republic. 
First down at Madness, that, talking to yourself. I'll bear that in mind. And the second is hanging around in a mucky bag. What are you doing? Gathering evidence of never you mind. But know this, the snake is about to be caught. Very kind of you to get us this, Lewis. My pleasure. So, what are you two lovebirds going to do with the rest of the day? Well, actually, I've got an appointment to get my hair cut. Oh, only Mum can do that. Well, of course I can. Do you know, I thought we might hit the sales. Oh, darling, I don't want to stop you, but I can't cancel my hair appointment because, you know, they rely on me. They're a small, independent business, and, well, my cut and crochet pays fair wages. <laughs> Why? Well, i better get going. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy oh. the bubbles. Lewis. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. See you, my love. Oh, bless him. So what, Jenny Boy didn't sack you after what you said about him? Yeah. Happy to see you. And you, are you well? Yeah, I'm very well. Good. Hey, come and sit down. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I must say, this place is exquisite. Mm, it's so romantic. Mm. What can I get you? Nothing, thanks. <clears throat> uh, madam, this is not a waiting room. Fine. Bring me whatever you recommend. Very good. Did that one is on the internet? Oh, right. It's not very nice. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drink that. Cheers. Oh, well. Sorry. Hey, Sal. Well, that was delicious. I think we maybe should go and look at the room. Absolutely. I'd love to show the you. Best. Yeah, tell me what's with you. Right. <clears throat> well, Mudge. I only had a couple of glasses. Uh, you had three, madam, and it was our finest champagne. Too far. Too far? We've only just met. <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't suspect? Absolutely no idea. Right. Uh, yes. After you, my dear. Here we go. The Dominican Republic. It was there, in black and white, in his diary. Going there with his fancy woman. What, the woman you saw in the hotel? Yeah. Guzzling champagne they were, then they waltzed upstairs. They went into the room together. I could hear them giggling. Oh, well done. You were listening at the door. Giggling as they went in. No doubt plotting how to spend our money. It's Archie's money, technically. I can't believe Lewis would be so indiscreet. You sure it was him? Absolutely. I mean, it was the best room in the house, of course. Ah. I checked. You could get a grand with this, but your word against his, and I know who my money's on. That's why I got evidence. I took a snap as they went in. Exhibit A. Mm. Oh, dear. Oh, these wretched phones. Look, you're just going to have to keep your powder dry. Hope you've got the kettle on. I've had a day off. And who should I bump into in town? Mrs. Carnegie. She was banging on about her husband's trust. I mean, I might just as well have been at work. Have you heard from Lewis at all? Oh, no. I know better than to come between Lewis and his barber. I mean, I'm a hairdresser. He won't let me touch a hair on his head. Hell of a long haircut. Having an updo, is he? I choose to ignore that, thank you. Actually, do you know somewhat? I reckon that he's uh, actually gone to the sales on his own because I think he's planning to surprise me. Damn right he is. Oh, has he told you? 
I didn't know you were suddenly bosom buddies. Oh, so what's he planning? Weekend away? A new handbag? Come on, I, I, I won't tell him you've told me. Look, I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this. It gives me no pleasure at all. Well, maybe just a little bit. Well, actually, hell of a lot, if I'm honest. But that's because of him, not you. I ain't seen you hurt. What are you talking about, Gail? Lewis isn't at the sales. He isn't buying you jewellery. He's with another woman. In a hotel bedroom. And it's not a twin. So much for you giving Lewis a second chance. I thought that was too good to be true. I mean, you know, I never asked you to like him after what he did, but I mean, to concoct a story like this. I saw him with my own eyes. They were having a meal, champagne, the lot, and they were up them stairs two at a time. Well, that sounds like a right recipe for indigestion to me. <laughs> You've got to take this seriously, ma'am. I was watching from a discreet distance. Discreet? And... Please, you. <sighs> You'd have been round that place before he could even start nibbling a breadstick, let alone anything else. Do you think I'd make this up? Yes, I do, because you would do anything to put the kibosh on me and Lewis. He's planning to flee she on New Year's Day. Oh, well, we're going out New Year's Eve. What's he going to do, suddenly disappear on the last chimes of Big Ben? Well, I wouldn't put anything past him. If they start a conga, I should hold on tight. He's planning to rip you off and escape to the Dominican Republic. Yeah, how many have you had? Well, I had to blend in at the hotel. <sighs> Fifty-odd quid for three glasses of champagne. Anyway, the point is that the UK doesn't have an extradition treaty with the Dominican Republic. I know, cos I checked on it. Do you know, you really have lost it this time. I, I honestly think you should see someone. Ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not listening to another word. I'm trying to protect you. Protect me? You destroyed what I had with Lewis once before. Sat on my shoulder like Jiminy Cricket in a striped blazer, poisoning my ears. So not this time, lady. Really, not this time. Call him. Call him now. Ask him about the hotel and the woman. See what he says. I know what he'd say, Gail. He'd say, if I don't trust him, then it's all over between us. And unless I will phone him if you can give me proof that all this happened. Yes, well, I'm, I did try taking photographs. I'm telling you the truth. Do you know, I'd rather listen to Mrs Carnegie going on about her husband's hernia. At least that's got something to support it. I'm late. She wouldn't listen to a word I said. Well, I hate to say I told you so. But in this case, I'll make an exception. I had to do something. <laughs> you can't go in there, guns are blazing, can you, when you're firing blanks? You've got to sit back. Go to ground with something concrete. But we're running out of time. How's your financial advisor getting on? Well, he's managed to persuade Grant to open a high-interest account. Well, that takes a few days, and not it? Transfer the money. You know what the banks are like at Christmas. Could be too late by then. Louis could be sipping margaritas in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> well, we've done our bit, haven't we? And if Gran chooses not to listen, well, that's her look at. Oh, hello. Where's Lover then? He's on his way. From where? I'm not in the mood for this, Gail. OK, OK. I'm sorry. I shall uh, bite my tongue, difficult though it is, and uh, simply ask, would you like a drink while you're waiting? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes! How's Liz? That's the man who wanted her out of his life. What? She clearly remembers a conversation you had the day of the accident. Are you saying he drove her deliberately? What? The woman he had an affair with? Surely Liz doesn't think. I would never do something like that, and she knows it. Don't shoot the messenger. Body and coat when you're ready, please. I feel strange, I mean. You are strange. When me and Kirk, we were, we were messing with the occult and now it's messing with us. How much have you had to drink? Not enough. Don't you dare. Is that 
three boring oldies and I put this song on, which means that you have still got one left. I am so sorry. Louis, you said an hour. Yeah, I know. Well, why didn't you answer any of my calls? I fell asleep. I, 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 I did my errand, went home to change and fell asleep on the bed. Mia Culpa. Errand? Mm. You said it was a surprise. Yes. Come on. Uh, would you mind if I could have a word with your mother alone? Don't listen to Gail. There is something dodgy going on here, and I don't like it. There isn't. Trust me. Oh, trust me. Trust me. I keep trusting you and looking like a fool. You had your last chance when you came out of prison, Lewis, and you've blown it. Do you know? I've had enough. One minute to go. Oh, time to get the... Seven. Six. Five. Three. Two. One. Very important plan, Gail. And if you don't stop meddling, you'll regret it. <laughs>